I'm not smart. Uh, temporary lapse in set building judgment. And so basically this is a uh, <laughs> kind of a, a public service announcement. <laughs> I'll point out my stupidity so you guys don't make the same mistake. And this is an issue that has been uh, of controversy uh, for a while now, actually. And I should have known better. I mean, I'm the fucking set hunter, for God's sakes. Anyway, <laughs> uh, a couple weekends ago, uh, just kind of messing around with the old LCS. Uh, doing some, uh, some pack wars, uh, you guys might know them as box battles, whatever you want to call them, everybody buys a pack, uh, in, in a box, usually, typically, like, totally certified or something like that, and you each draw a card, ace, ace, two, three, four, five, and six, and everybody draws a card, if you get the, if you get the ace, you get to take your first pick of the packs, after, after all the packs have been opened, you know, like, they lay them all out, and if you, go, if you draw the ace, you get to pick the first pack, whichever one. So if there's an RG3 auto in there, you pick the ace, so you get to pick the first pack, and then two goes, and then three goes, and then that's how it happens. So I did that a couple, couple weeks ago, a couple boxes of certified. And uh, one of the cards that I, I got was, I probably I think I probably already showed this off, was this AP. The uh, Platinum Gold Patch Edition. And I was like, man, I really, really, really like the look of this card. It's quite nice. And it is numbered. You probably won't be able to see it. There it is. 24, 24 of 25, right? So I'm like, man, I like the look of this card. And there is something about patches that just floats my boat. Autographs are fine, but patches are just, they're art. Anyway, so I pulled this, and I was like, man, I really like this card. Let's see what else is out there. So I started surfing the old eBay interwebs and started finding some others and started bidding on some others and started winning some others. So AP, uh, I got my hands on a Tory Smith, a very nice three-color patch. And the Tory Smith, I believe, is out of 25. Yep, 6 of 25. Uh, this one actually came in yesterday. A very nice three-color Wes Welker. And that's numbered to 49. So I began to notice that there are some of them numbered to 49 and some of them numbered to 25. It's Panini. Shockingly. <laughs> uh, this very nice number to 25 three-color patch of MJD. I was like, man, the more I look at these cards, the more I like them. All right. This came in yesterday, three color patch number to 25, Jimmy Graham. I was like, so these cards are pretty much numbered to 49 or 25. Okay, we'll keep it going. Let, let, hey, let's keep it going. Number to 49, three color Demarius Thomas. Came in yesterday, out of 25, three color Elvis Doomerville. And last but not least, came in, this is the second card I got in. Um, this is the last card of the set. It is a 100-card set. Uh, 17 of 25, two-color Willis McGahee. So I'm sitting here getting all my shit ready for trade night. It's the last Saturday of the month, which means it's trade night. And I was like, you know what? I just want to check something out real quick. So I did a Google search, and I typed in 2012 Totally Certified Checklist. That's where it all came tumbling down. I knew it was a 100-card set. I knew that there were going to be different numbers in it, but now I'm half depressed, half pissed off. Look at a checklist, 100-card set. The, there are, and this is weird because the math doesn't add up, but I was just writing the stuff down. A quarter of them are numbered to 49, okay. 32 of them are numbered to 25, okay. One of them is numbered to 20, and that's Fred Jackson. It's like, okay, 20. One of them is numbered to 15. That's Tom Brady. Then there are 14 of them numbered to 10. Then there are two of them numbered to 5. And the reason why these guys are short printed is mind-boggling. 
Dustin Keller and James Laurinaitis. Really? And of course, it wouldn't be a Panini patch set, or any set for that matter, if there weren't one of ones tossed about. Two one of ones in this set Steve Johnson and Jonathan Stewart. You mean to tell me they couldn't get a couple more Buffalo Bills patches and Carolina Panthers patches? Are you fucking kidding me? And here's here here's the kicker. Here's what tops it all off. I have coming in the Deshaun Jackson, which is number to twenty-five, the Darren Sproles, which is number to either forty-nine or twenty-five, the fucking Jay Cutler. Yeah, I spent money on a Jay Cutler. And that's number to forty-nine. And last but not least, number to ten, I have the Troy Polamalu coming in. On top of that, I'm bidding on the Sam Bradford and the No Sean Moreno, bulk number to 49. So here's the lesson learned. <laughs> do your research first before attempting to do a set. Because, I mean, I, I mean, it's a 100 card set. I'm not that much into it. I mean, I'm expecting four of them. I'm bidding on two of them, and I have eight of them sitting here. So it's not like I went 70 cards deep and then realized this shit. But still, it's, I mean, this is, this is money I could have spent on something else, you know. This is money I could have put towards YouTube PC mini helmets. Fucking Panini. <laughs> so once again, as the great sevens always says, as we are approaching seven minutes... Uh, there are rules to set building, and I'd probably think that the very first rule is do your research first. So, lesson hard learned. Take my stupidity and my over-eagerness to start a set and having it backfire on me. These are learning lessons. Okay? <laughs> Fucking Panini. <laughs>